The Lord pressed on my heart through His Holy Spirit to share my cafeteria dream with you. There are many who do need to hear this message. We should no longer feel ashamed. The Lord took our shame away through the cross. We don't have to run and hide behind our fig leaves. We can have open fellowship with Him. Come to the Lord's table and sup with Him. You are invited through the cross. I dreamed a dream. I was in a large room that looked like a cafeteria. I was walking down the long aisle between the long row of cafeteria tables with my lunch tray in my hand. I felt nervous and felt a feeling of overwhelming rejection. That same awkwardness I felt as a kid in school. This is how I felt. Even now, years later. Because I knew in my dream I was an adult. But still, those childlike feelings came over me like a rushing tidal wave. I noticed ahead of me, to the right, an empty table. I headed straight over to it, even though I secretly hoped that someone would recognize me and wave me over to their end table. Still, I doubted it. Many times during lunch, I sat alone on the end of a long empty table near the cafeteria exit. It made it less painful to dump my tray and leave quickly than to take another walk of rejection and shame. Still, I rationalized every time. I am a loner. I like to keep to myself and sit and think, many times thinking about my problems or a better life in a galaxy far away or a seclusive desert island. Anyway, the walk was always the same and almost unbearable. Then I noticed to my left was a table and someone looking over at me. He was smiling and waving me over to his table to join him and his company. It was Jesus and God the Father and Holy Spirit sat across from him. Jesus wore his usual long off-white flowing robe I usually see him in. And God the Father, Holy Spirit, who appeared as an invisible figure of a man. I knew in my spirit that God was sitting there and the Holy Spirit was indwelling inside of him, but appeared as one person. As Jesus sat across from him, as Jesus waved me over, I suddenly felt unworthy and ashamed. I drew back and continued focused ahead to the empty table I was steadily walking to. I sat down at the empty table putting my tray down and hung my head in grief. I suddenly awoke and as soon as I did I instantly regretted not taking Jesus up on his offer to come sup with him. I then was confronted with my heart issue. I believe Jesus wanted to address my feeling of unworthiness. Revelation 3.20 KJV Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him and he with me. I was then challenged to take a long, hard look at my insecurities. I then remembered that Christ has redeemed me. My sins have been forgiven. They have been covered under the blood of Jesus, and my sins have been washed away. I can sit at the table of fellowship with the Father and the Son 
and the Holy Spirit. The Lord has not rejected me. He has accepted me. And he has taken away my shame. I had to diligently remind myself of these truths. The Holy Spirit prompting scriptures to my remembrance. Oh, how I wanted to go back into my dream and take up Jesus' offer of fellowship at his table. Then I realized, even now, I am invited every day to come into his presence and sup with him. Yes, Jesus made a way through the cross to be able to come into the Lord's presence. Thank you, Lord, for what you have done for me. And this he has done for you also. I am sure that there are many who remember their school days and their dreaded cafeteria walk of shame. Jesus can wash all your sins away and the insecurities and shame that come with them. This is his invitation. John 3.16 KJV For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Be blessed.